Congratulations to the spineless poodles in Washington, the dumbed down public and the strumpets in the media who pushed for yet another war. You seem to have won, and for what? I paraphrase Stephen Lentman. America is unique in that no nation ever waged perpetual war throughout its entire history, at home and abroad. America exterminated native people, a must-read for dumbed-down and brainwashed Megan Kelly, who tried her utmost best to make War Churchill look like a villain for exposing the truth. I say America's business is war. Every time they hook the stupid masses with yet another false flag, the free and the brave, and especially the stupid, fall for it. Just like they did with the Coney scam, the incubator hoax, Aurora, Boston bombing, Sandy Hook, etc., etc. And soon they will finish off Africa and claim every bit of their resources, which has been in their plan for years. Only now they call it the Ebola threat, and it will kill millions of innocent people. I really haven't got a clue how the despicable sycophants in Washington can sleep. What with all the misery they cause? Why do so many allow an illegal grifter that costs us trillions of dollars and is one of the main reasons the rest of the world makes fun of us and believe we are stupid? Edward Bernays, the father of propaganda, said, If we understand the mechanisms and motives of the group mind, it is now possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will. Without them knowing it, he called it the engineering of consent and proposed those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is the true ruling power of our country. So... Can we really blame the simpletons? While I was there, I saw the Iraqi soldiers g coming to the hospital with guns. They took the babies out of the incubators, took the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Since that scam worked so well, why not show the nitwits some fake beheadings? Ketchup carries, we got to strike right now or we face an imminent attack on Europe and the US didn't work so well. But a slimy writer, Ryan Gorman, penned a real tearjerker, absolute superb propaganda. It's very possible that both men indeed died, but they were not killed in the circulated videos. Even average intelligence would know that James Foley would have had involuntary jerking and trashing movements, i.e. his mind could have not prevented that unless, of course, it was a CPR dummy, which might even explain the shiny, all-shaven and unnaturally light plastic skin tone on his arms and legs. They have since remedied their mistakes and now Photoshop arm and leg hair. Fake beheadings finally allow America's dumped down masses to support more of the same madness. So let's take a moment to observe the truly remarkable disconnect in the minds of all these useful idiots that are beyond reach of common sense. Anyone lobotomized by the lamestream media has no free will. They certainly can't help but let themselves be victimized over and again. They have no clue that they cheer for their own demise. They dumped themselves down to a point where they were able to convince themselves that 19 Stone Age Arabs in caves masterminded a sophisticated operation on 9-11. Thirteen years later, ISIS is the best thing that happened for the military-industrial complex. What better way to rake in trillions of dollars in a very short time than manufacturing terror? ISIS is the pretext, Bashar al-Assad and Syrian sovereignty are the real target. Washington's gangster syndicate ravages one country after another, nothing but mass slaughter and destruction in countries thousands of miles away. A few morons keep repeating, they fight them over there so they don't have to fight them over here. How am I going to explain to a bunch of dolts that the army via harp is bombarding America with weather weapons that kill and maim hundreds of thousands and leave thousands of families homeless in America? The irony is, those affected voted most likely for the grifter responsible for their appalling situation. 
The diabolical sock puppet in our White House is controlled by the British Empire, doing exactly what they command him, ordering the army to paralyze most of America with freezing weather and drought for California. How, after being lied to 24-7 for over six years, they still believe this putz is simply beyond my reasoning capabilities. Now snow in the summer in areas that has never been prone to such extreme weather. Trying to wake up the dumbed down masses takes almost too much energy. It's like they just can't accept what the gangster syndicate is doing. Yes, it is difficult, but accept we must. It's the only way to fight back. First, stop the stupid admiration of the British so-called royals, who are nuttier and more criminal than people will ever know, who want to eliminate 80% of the world's useless eaters, as they call them. Just admire the little boy. He will be groomed to always be in the background and in charge. When they finish off America, a huge country full of cowardly braves. These country bumpkins rather shovel snow than ask why the stuff comes in early September. An excerpt from No, it's not Mother Nature, it's Harp. One week before the elections, Hurricane Sandy hits the U.S. Storm Sandy killed 72 people and caused 68 billion in damages. Even the Department of Energy said Hurricane Sandy is a man-made phenomenon. Mark Twain was right. It is easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. We all are ignorant in some things. I just don't understand why America has such an overabundance of stupidity. I try to inform and hundreds of claw toppers on Facebook resort to name calling, totally oblivious to the real world. I just want to shake them awake. Countries are turned into cauldrons of violence, an endless destructive cycle. War profiteers pillage on a grand scale, disenfranchising entire populations and turning them into serfs. Imperialism is an existential threat, a fundamental evil, humanity-consuming monster. Israel concocted and carried out 9-11, which was then used to fundamentally alter the nature of the U.S. gangster syndicate and its relationship to the American people, who plucked down billions for Israeli's defense, so the SOBs can then turn around and attack us. I used to not understand until it dawned on me that America is Israel's biatch. It is the duty of every Muslim to keep striving until all governments have been converted to Sharia law.